I'm sure none of you will. I mean, I'm sure most of you will agree that that was unfair. And if people say, no, you just suck, I'll be like, ha, kill yourself. You know what I fear? I fear that I have become, I have, like, dug myself into a hole. I've dug myself a hole and just jumped in it. Um, because I'm sure this happens with a lot of other people, but you know, friend groups. Groups of friends, well, you know, when they're all best friends, they tend to, for whatever reason, when you're friends with someone, you're just like, oh, hey, it's good to see you. But then, um, when you're best friends with people, you're like, oh, God, look at that ugly twat right there. And he's just like, oh, fuck you, back. And you don't care. Me and my friends are sort of taking that to an extreme. As you may have seen in a Splinter Cell video, we uh, we tend to never, ever, ever stop. My god, this guy's getting close. So, like, we all say stuff like, huh, kill yourself. Or, huh, yeah, go fuck yourself, you cheeky cunt. Shit like that. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I've just realised. Oh no, they're distracting him. Wow, Jacob, you're out your little hole. That's good. But I fear that I won't be able to drop that. Because even on YouTube I say cunt a lot, and cunt is considered a very bad word, but because I've used it like a hundred times a day with my friends, and they don't care, my brain is under the illusion that it's an acceptable word to use. And really it's not. And I fear that I might just like, come out saying it at a job interview or something. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I do it on YouTube, which is a start, because I consider YouTube not to be a friend but more something to impress. I don't know how that works. I wouldn't call YouTube a cunt like I would my friends. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I do know what I'm saying, but I'm not saying it right. So we're at the end of the level. Good God. Thank Christ, another loyalty mission down then, I guess. Ronald Taylor, the true American patriot. What the hell is all this? That is so low quality. My god. Damn it, Bioware. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. We've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. It was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob. My Jacob? Not who you expected, Captain? I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol... They couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? 
I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Half charge. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop him. It's not for them. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I knew that would happen. Just after that dramatically sort of sad moment that weird epic music plays. No, I realised. I realised I think he's got the same voice actor as Lee from The Walking Dead. There's 400 days out now. I don't know what that is. Some DLC bullcrap. Not buying it. Just thought I'd let you know. I'm not playing it. I mean, I liked The Walking Dead, but... Good. They get as much as a glimpse, and you're restricted to decaf. Great. May as well serve it in the airlock, you hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gurns back, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Oh, God. Was this supposed to be a favor? Or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. Damn it. Cursed face. Um, you're not alright. Let's just go. Come on. We've got work to do. I can read I don't have time for you, Jacob. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. I didn't say any time, I said you're welcome. God damn it. I don't have time for people that sit in cover like miles back from the actual action. And the frickin' fighting. Just waiting for like... I don't know what he was waiting for. Christmas, maybe. This is the seventh month of 2013. That's crazy. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Great. Uh, what's this? It could happen to you. That's spam mail, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that is... Yeah, okay. Pragya facility update. Didn't we destroy that? Um... I'm not reading this, by the way. Just because heavy ship armor. We need that, I think. Might as well get it now, then. We need that for the final mission. It would definitely help, wouldn't it? Thanex cannon. Oh, this is all the ones I've already got. Prototypes, ship enhancements. Uh, well, that's easy. We can get that. Lovely. Now we have Stellaris armor. So what's next on the list of things to do? I think my fish are dead. Or non-existent. I don't think I have any fish, actually. They've all died previously. In previous episodes. We have used half our fuel. Oh, good. We've used half our fuel. Fuel prices are on the rise, you know. So what have we got left? We've got a recruit tally... Do DLC, help Grunt and Morden, and then on to the next set of things. Let's do some of the DLC. I'll do the f this one because, I mean, this DLC is awesome. It's, I don't know how much it cost, or if it was free, but it's a small DLC. I'll just get fuel, actually. 
it's a small DLC of just like a few side missions, but very, very fun and awesome. It could have been like its own Xbox Live Arcade game. Pity it wasn't really. I would just explore the entire universe, but that seems like a bit boring. Kind of, you'd have to be there for like, you'd have to be actually there in the ship. Do exploring in a video game isn't quite fun. Like on, what's it called? Euro Truck Simulator. So we're going down here to touch down on this hammerhead uh, rocket thing. It's like what the first game should have been, rather than with the stupid, um, what's it called, Mako, or whatever. The little car thing that was uncontrollably difficult to control. Um, yeah, I should bring out Zaid. I'll just bring out these two because I'll try and make it equal from now on who I bring it out. Who I'm bringing out, you know, equal amounts of playtime. It doesn't really matter because I don't really get to see them, but. <laughs> 